I'm super excited to keep this day rolling with one of my favorite topics, beauty. My mother is a makeup artist. Stephanie, I didn't mention this to you. And I you look up, beautiful. All thank the time. you. I grew up with her tagging along to the beauty shop where she worked and just witnessing the magic that happens when a woman feels transformed on the inside and the outside with makeup and with beauty and with that woman to woman connection that you as a makeup artist practice all the time. Um, now, of course, when we become moms, we have less time for our beauty rituals. We have less time to kind of delight in that feminine experience of putting on our makeup. Um, but what happens is that when we lose our beauty rituals, we can also lose that connection to our feminine self and we become, you know, the doer of our to-do lists. And when we, we bring back those beauty rituals, we bring back that feminine energy and that leads us through the whole day. So our next speaker is a beauty goddess. I'm so excited to have you here. This is Stephanie Floor, everyone. Please welcome her. Um, and she is going to encourage us to bring back those beauty rituals and routines in our life. Uh, Stephanie here is a celebrity makeup artist. Mariah Carey is one of her clients and she always looks gorgeous. Um, and she's also a global beauty expert. And I really love um, what you've done with your career, because it's very diverse within the field of beauty. You are also the founder and CEO of a company called Around the World Beauty. Everybody check it out. We can pop that link and the Instagram handle in here, as well as your personal, there it is, like, like clockwork, and your personal Instagram as well. So Around the World Beauty, and tell me if I've got this correct, it's a travel company for women who love beauty and culture and who love to explore and experience the, this concept of how we see beauty in one another and using this worldwide cultural lens to do so. I get chills just thinking about it. I think it's so amazing what you're doing um, and I'm very excited to learn more. And um, your session today is called Five Beauty Hacks for Radiating from Within. You are radiating from within, by the way. So we all want a little bit of what you got, sister. And you're gonna teach us how to start with the basics, right? And elevate our skincare um, and also our beauty routine in just five minutes, which is clutch. Cause that's kind of what we have. We can tell our kids, hey, read a book for five minutes, play in the garden for five minutes, watch the iPad for five minutes. I need to connect with myself um, so that we can look and feel as beautiful on the outside as we truly do on the inside. And that's so important in our experience of motherhood. So. Everybody, please be sure to follow Stephanie on Instagram at, I think we've plunked it in there at Stephanie Floor. And without um, any further chit chat from me being so excited about you, let's get to radiating our inner beauty with the one and only Stephanie Floor. Thank you so much for being here, hon. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. And I just want to take a quick look at myself to make sure all is good. And I'm really excited to be here because a lot of my clients are moms. And I see the journey of having hours to do your hair and makeup to going to just five minutes. I've been with so many, you know, what I love about being a makeup artist is I get to work with such powerful, beautiful women who are changing the way our trajectory has looked, right? And so a mom is now just not just a mom. She's handling a Fortune 500 company. She's going to meetings all day, starting at 5 a.m. And some of us are just really taking care of the household. So my goal is always to share the things that I have taken away of working with some of the most famous women in the world, most busiest women in the world, and sharing with real women who maybe haven't taken the time to understand the climate, the idea of what beauty is, right? So adding to that, my journey as a traveler and having my own company has led me around the world. And what I've loved about traveling is that it's led me to meet other moms and other women who are pioneering this this lifestyle of having to do it all, right? Um, you would, I smile and I have all these jittery things inside because being a mom, being someone who is a caregiver, who is a provider, who is holding a household, who's holding it together for her husband, for herself, is something that we all have in common no matter what culture we're part of. And I love traveling the world and meeting other women that share with me what they do for beauty and how they take time for themselves. And beauty, that word in itself, sometimes we think it's just on the outside, right? It's just what people see when they see you. And really what we've come to learn and what I've come to learn with my travels and with meeting women around the world 
is that it really is a journey that takes you far deeper into who you are. And today, what I'm going to show you isn't your normal beauty class. It's not going to teach you, well, you need a highlight here. You need a contour here. Because for me, my theory of beauty is always about radiating, radiating within. Because at the end of the day, and this is our little secret, moms, like I'm telling you the real secrets. I've worked with some of the most beautiful women in the world who are not glowing, who are, who when they look at a picture, they still feel that they see the, the insecurities and the flaws. So we're all equal in that space where we have a choice to make every day when we wake up and that first look in the mirror, some of us don't even look in the mirror anymore. If you, if you don't look in the mirror anymore, put in the chat, I'm going to look in the mirror. I, I wanna see myself because it really starts with you identifying with us identifying who am I what is the look that I'm going for who well, who do I want to be in this in this world of beauty and in this space of this life because before you were a mom you were an individual and I want us always to remember that and I'm going to be sharing an amazing program that I'm part of that allows women to rediscover but I want to show you five super easy like super easy tricks that will change your life and I am not lying when I say that because at the end of the day if we can start with the foundation of feeling good from the inside and then adding it with a few little tricks that change how you do your makeup and how you do your hair, it will change everything for you. And I promise you, it is so easy that even me as a traveler, I don't have to bring five makeup bags. I bring one little bag that has my hair, my makeup, and I'm ready to go. And I'm assuming many of you moms only have that really small makeup bag as well. So I'm positive that this is going to hopefully inspire you to just smile a little bit more in that mirror and add these little beauty hacks into your regimen, okay? So the first one that I'm gonna do is inspired by my experience in meditation. So I heard the first speaker talking about how important it is to take time for your day. So I have my water and the only other thing that you need is really your body. So like she mentioned, breathing is such an essential part of your every single day life. And most of us can't even take a moment to take a breath as moms, right? So I'm going to share with you three things that I highly recommend for you to do to tap into your beauty as the first thing that you do when you wake up, okay? The first thing is you drink water. We are made of 80% of water. The minute you put water into your system, it starts circulating the blood, allowing your skin, which is the largest organ on your body, to wake up, right? It's one of the oldest rituals. Water is your best friend. So I, what I do is I keep water at my bedside. So when I wake up, the first thing I do is I take a sip of water. So if you have water near you, allow yourself to bring into awareness that this water is connecting you to your body. And that's what we want to do when we wake up. Most of us wake up we hear a baby crying or we wake up we're like, oh God, here goes another day. First step in any beauty regimen is knowing that it is another day and that you get to have vitality, which I know Matthew's watching right now. She's been telling me about that word. You get to choose to be the best version of yourself because beauty really is that. It's a choice, right? And everything's a choice. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is take a sip of your water. I like to put it in a wine glass because it makes me feel fabulous. And I think that's the, the best part about life is just feeling that way. So I'm gonna take some water. And the second thing is in Ayurveda, in Ayurveda and Hinduism, there's an idea that you have to rise with the sun. So rising with the sun, I know someone said they wake up at 6 a.m. Know that that's actually the natural calling for the body. And so when you wake up that early, you're actually waking up, connecting to the spirits, connecting to the moon and the stars, as well as the sun and cre creating that connection to that energy. And I know it sounds a little like, oh my God, this isn't makeup, this isn't product talk. I think that's the problem in our industry, right? We talk so much about how these products can fix you, how this is gonna make you feel more beautiful. When really in my travels and in my study of what beauty means around the world, I've come to understand that there is beauty lying even in the moment that you wake up with having breath, right? So I've incorporated that all into my rituals and my traditions on how I do my beauty routine in the morning. Cause I wanna radiate from within, right? So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have us put our hands up just like this. And we're gonna put our hands up. And the way that you wanna do it is when you wake up, after you take that little bit of water, what we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in through our nose and then we're gonna go. <sighs> it's gonna be a very intense breath, okay? So you're gonna be breathing in through your nose and breathing in from the lower part of your stomach with your hands up. I say you do this for one minute, okay? Because the reason we do this for one minute is because we're going to wake up the body. Sometimes we just wake up, 
we, we, we blow them around and the, with this rich, with this regimen, it's all about waking up the body, getting the blood pumping, because then your skin is going to literally glow from within. So that what we're going to do, we're going to put our hands up and I'm just going to do it for a minute so you can see, but normally what we would do is put your hands up and we're just going to breathe and we're going to pump. And I know it looks a little crazy. Your husband's going to be like, what is my wife doing? Your kids get them to join in because what this is going to do, it's literally going to start pumping in your stomach, pumping in your breath, pumping the blood in your body, getting you ready to glow, to get all of that stuff that's not meant for you to start releasing. This is an activator for you to start really connecting with yourself and doing this every morning, even if it's five days a week, but those days are really stressful. It is a game changer. You instantly feel awake. So we're going to put your hands up and go breathe in through your nose, release through your side. And you're gonna go up and down with your hands. And you do this for about a minute. You wanna put the timer on so you know when a minute is done. And I, I mean, you can probably already see me. It's like all of a sudden I feel aligned. I feel connected. I feel like, okay, I have a breath, right? So starting off with these two things is really what I recommend for the first step when it comes to your beauty regimen. Putting any amount of makeup on isn't going to hide if you're feeling sad or, or low energy. The goal is always to be in high energy and by incorporating water, by incorporating breath. Um, I know that our last speaker spoke about smoothies. Incorporating all these things that ground us into our body is literally the first step to take on a beautiful, incredible day for yourself and for you to really radiate from within, okay? So that's my number, number one step. I always have to talk about... Um, the energy of beauty right so then we'll take you through the each uh, through, through each process that is part of my beauty kind of routine and my my philosophy of beauty so the next one is moisturizer so a lot of times people will worry more about the makeup that's something that i get um i'm reading yes 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 but what i like to do is i like to go with a moisturizer i will be honest with you i could have any moisturizer here for you at the end of the day it's about the technique. And you'll hear about that with the products that I'm going to show you, right? So most of us will use a moisturizer. It can be a serum, it can be um, from aloe, it can be any moisturizer. If you guys watch, share with me some of your favorite moisturizers. I know that when it comes to moms, there's a lot of um, favorites. When I think Ordinary People is a really popular one. The Body Shop is one of my favorites. This one is, I'm seeing Super Goop. Yeah, People, Derm oh, Dermalogica is great. There's a lot of incredible brands, right? And I'm not going to tell you that one is better than the other because what I want you to tap into with me as someone who works in this industry and wants you to feel your best is that it is all about the technique. The product can say, what it does, that it's gonna give you youthful skin forever and take away all the things and help with dark spots. And it's true, it will, I, I believe in that. But at the end of the day, what I want you to connect in regards to radiating from within is to connect to the product. So um, I'm using one of our products that we have and what's great about it is that the ingredients are sourced from basically the raw ingredients, right? So what that allows me to do is that allows me to be connected again to the ground and it allows me to be connected to the earth. So when you are looking for a moisturizer, you wanna look for something that is incredibly hydrating. You don't have time to keep reapplying throughout the day. That's one of the things I hear from my mom. So you wanna make sure you're using something that is incredibly hydrating. And then the next process is actually the application. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of moisturizer. And if you have your moisturizer nearby, Grab that, I'm gonna put it here. I'm just gonna take a little bit onto my hands as you can see, and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite tricks. So actually I learned this trick when I was working in fashion week um, with Japanese assistants and Japanese makeup artists. They did this whole technique that really, I, I would stare at them doing this to the models and I would be fascinated. But when I went to Japan and I started learning about the art of touch and the art of connection, and then I incorporated that with the Hinduism mythology of connecting to self, connecting to the chakras, um, connecting to the higher powers. I, I really saw those two things so similar. And I said, I wanna do that for my clients when I do their skincare. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cream and we're gonna first start rubbing our hands together. So this is the thing about the skin guys. So I'm just gonna keep rubbing and rub, 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 rub until you start feeling some heat inside. You start feeling some heat in between your hands. And I promise you, you guys can feel the heat as you rub. I don't know if you'll be able to type, but you want to really rub your hands together, okay? 
And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that moisturizer and you're just gonna literally press it against the face, guys. Now, this is something that I feel like no one ever tells you, but this to me is such a game changer. And you're breathing as you are pressing the moisturizer onto your skin. And this is why it's a beauty regimen. It's a beauty routine, it's a beauty ritual. Just five minutes to yourself. The reason I'm pressing the heat with the moisturizer onto my skin is because the, or the skin is the largest organ on your body. I said this before, and it's alive. And we forget that. We forget that this body is part of how beautiful we are, the beauty that we create in the day. So by pressing the heat onto the skin, your pores are literally opening up and they're saying, yes, give me that stuff. Give me that hydration. Give me those vitamins. And that's why when you choose a moisturizer, when you choose any cream or any products, it's so important to look at the ingredients. It's so important to look at if it has any toxins, et cetera. The beauty industry is known for just not having regulations. And all the moisturizers that you guys share with me, those are incredible moisturizers. And the thing is, Remember, these techniques that I'm showing you are meant to connect to your body so it can feel beautiful. And so by using great products, you're really able to work those products into your skin. So what you're, what you're seeing me do is just really pressing. I'm pressing against my temples. I'm gonna be pressing onto my third eye. So you wanna make sure you bring your moisturizer. And the thing is you always wanna be going up guys. You never wanna be going down as the gravity is already pulling us down as, as life happens, right? So you always wanna be going up. And this should literally be put one minute on the clock and rubbing all your moisturizer into your skin, okay? You also wanna come into the neck. Ladies, they say that they can tell our age based on our hands and our neck. So we always wanna make sure that we are applying the moisturizer from our neck and all the way up and pushing up. Now, this is a little fun fact. I'm just gonna take a little moisturizer. And yes, I go through a lot of moisturizer for myself and for my clients. And you should too, skin needs hydration. Oils are some of my favorite new products in the market. I think oils have been a game changer for our industry. I think people were afraid of oils and then they realized that oils, the skin, this, the skin, understands oils it's it, um, it remembers the oil so by using oils it's kind of like the pores are like yes come and they have so many nutrients so many things so i'm just using a little bit more and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little tapping motion okay guys what the tapping motion is going to do to the skin we go all around mm, i love this and especially if you have like a lavender scent to your moisturizer or if you're using essential oils as well that's all relaxing you, getting you grounded into your beauty, getting grounded into who you are. And this tapping motion is just waking up the skin once again. Everything we're doing is to wake up the skin to say, we got you, we have, you know, we love you. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for radiating. And by tapping into the skin, the other thing it's doing is that it's moving all the blood of the face. So a lot of us will have rosacea, um, discoloration, pigment, hyperpigmentation. By tapping into your skin, the blood is waking up, it's moving around. I even like to bring it over here and tap, tap, tap this area because there's a lot of buildup here sometimes. And what you wanna do is just gently, very gently with this ring finger, just gently press and tap, okay? So if you have a lot of dark circles, know that you can um, take blueberries, of course, there's certain smoothies you can make. And if you send me a DM, I can send you a list. But really just connecting with yourself in the morning is just really enough to get the blood moving, to get the skin going, and to start really evening out the skin tone without having to put makeup on. So that is why we're doing this. So you don't have to put on the layer of foundation to cover up your beauty. Just by doing these simple little steps, you're already allowing the skin to come forward. You're allowing the color to move around, get rid of the rosacea, get rid of the reddish in certain areas, and really start waking up the skin, okay? The other thing I'm going to show you that has to do with skincare is this. You've seen these that are made of rose quartz. They're all over the place, right? This one is actually one that I have for Japan. This is actually taken in the same theory. So what I like to do is I like to just go in and just do a little rubbing. And so these little tools, if you don't want to be tapping, you can literally use one of these. And you can just really work this into the skin, okay? This is what it's kind of done in our industry, all these products. So basically the tapping, if you don't have this product, this is quite enough. 
The other thing that you want to do is I'm just going to take a little bit more. The moisturizer element is my favorite. So what you want to do is you want to take, again, you want to rub, 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 rub. And what you want to do is you want to start at the, at the um, third eye and you want to work it into the uh, temples. The reason these things are called temples is because they are the gatekeepers to the third eye. And I know that sounds wild, but with all my clients and when I do my makeup, I just literally awaken this area. I say affirmations like I am beautiful, I am enough, I am radiating, I'm an amazing mother, I'm an amazing daughter. And this third eye is your main activator, guys. I know it sounds a little uh, universal, but it really, really matters when you are doing your regimen to say those positive words as you connect with yourself. These temples are the gatekeeper to the third eye. So by massaging this area, you're really allowing these pores to open and you're really allowing your mind to be connected to yourself. So it all starts in the mind. If you believe that you're beautiful, if you believe that you have something to offer, you can shift those perspectives just by this little beauty regimen that we're doing together. Okay. So as you have your moisturizer, now you're ready to start with the makeup routine, right? So I'm just gonna close this up real quick. I wanna show you a few tricks that were a game changer. When it comes to foundation, I have a few foundations here. And if you guys have any foundation questions, feel free. Yes, it is similar to Jade Roller. Oh yeah, okay. I, I'll have Dana ask any questions later. So when it comes to foundation, I wanna break some myths. When you are looking to minimize your routine, the first step is understanding what are your best features? When you are looking in the mirror, and I know we talked about this before, sometimes we don't look in the mirror in the anymore. Sometimes we're just on the go, on the go. But what makes life easier is having your simple routine of what looks best for you. I know for a lot of us, um, maybe you live in a dry environment like Nevada, or maybe you're in Texas, or maybe you're in Detroit where it's really, really cold. So first thing is understanding what is my beauty look? What is it that I want to look like? What, what inspires me when it comes to my beauty? And so that's going to help you understand, well, what products am I going to need to achieve that look? So if you guys have anyone that inspires your beauty look, realistically, I know we all want to look like JLo. I mean, that's me all day, every day, but not every day can I have the opportunity to do that full glam, right? At the end of the day is knowing what your looks are. So if I wanna create an everyday makeup beauty look, so I feel beautiful, what does that look like? It starts with the routine that I just showed you to get my body waking up. And then the next thing is looking for a foundation or concealer that really is gonna help me feel like my skin is even. It's going to help um, kind of lift certain areas and it's also gonna have SPF in it, right? Those things are things that matter to me. So those are things that you have to ask yourself. What matters to me? Do I live in a hot environment where SPF is a priority? So when you're looking for product, you know you want to look for something like that. I'm just going to scroll down. The next thing that I want to show you is the foundation, right? So there is a myth. Let me put my glasses on so I can see. There is a myth that you need foundation for your full skin. That is not true. I'm here to tell you. Oh my God, I feel like I shouldn't be telling you guys all this because you're never going to buy makeup anymore. But I want you guys to know because I love you and I love moms and I love what I do as a makeup artist is you just really need three core products to feel connected to your beauty if that's what you want and works for you, right? So I always say a foundation, a concealer is kind of the same thing. Yes, they can talk about texture. Yes, they can talk about you need both to look fabulous. But at the end of the day, my goal for you is to just use the product in the areas that you need it. Most women have beautiful skin all along here, even after childbirth, right? The only thing with childbirth is sometimes you start getting hyperpigmentation. So what you wanna do is this, I have a concealer here and I'm gonna skip foundation. I know everyone is send me a message. If you do this, or if you're in an uproar, you don't need it guys. No one has time for a concealer and a foundation. We all gotta go. Like we have many things to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a very easy trick. So basically you take your concealer. It can be any kind of concealer. I have concealers that come like this. I have concealers that come like this. I have concealers that come like this. So again, I'm never a junkie for product. 
if there's one pet peeve I have about product is to make sure it's doing the world good, that it's recyclable, that it's made of organic ingredients. Again, so my body that's taking it in is feeling good. So that's what I look for when I'm buying product. And I really think we all should start looking for that. But the trick is this, you wanna apply your concealer. Most women will stop here because that's what we're told, right? Oh, they'll kind of go like this. And that drives me crazy. <laughs> but the real trick, and I learned this on a JLo music video, is you want to go all the way up, okay? What this does, I'll do it on this side too. You've seen maybe the influencers do it online and they look crazy because they exaggerate it, but you don't need to make the nose smaller. You don't need to, to cover who you are. We want to look a little awake. That's always the goal when you're a mom and you're running around. You just want to look like you had a few extra minutes to sleep, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna take your brush. I'm a huge fan of using a brush or if you're gonna use your finger, use your ring finger because this is the softest, it's more the delicate finger. So by using your finger and just patting, you're literally working the product into your skin, okay? And I know you guys are gonna have questions about what product, should I use powder, all those things, right? But for right now, just concentrate on the application of how it's being done. So I'm bringing the concealer all the way up, okay? And I'm doing this just so it lifts that whole eye area. This is going to make you like you have slept an extra hour. I promise you, if you're doing the breathing, if you're drinking the water, if you're doing the moisturizer, I promise you this is all that you're literally going to need to look awake. Okay, so I'm just going in. And again, I'm tapping, tapping with this finger because it's very delicate area and I'm working it. The other step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that concealer and bring it down just a little bit, just here. Because most of us have discoloration here and what we wanna do is just lift this area, okay? This concealer is a MAC one, it's 24 hours. These are the products I'm looking for as, with, as moms. Things that are not going to come off easily. So I'm just going in and tap, tap, tap. Okay, there you go, very pretty. Very natural, we don't have to change, we don't have to look like anyone. Elsa that's doing all this crazy makeup. We just want to look a little awake and it all begins in the foundation of skincare. The next one, because I feel like I want to show you two more tricks, okay? The other one's going to be, where is my, this one? Here. When it comes to makeup, your eyebrows are key as well as mascara, right? Again, what's going to make us look instantly awake, instantly radiated is I love to use a mascara that has a double fiber. This is a game changer. This one's from the body shop, but a fiber mascara, what this is doing, it's coating your lashes so they're separated and they're going to be longer. Okay, most of us just know mascara to be mascara. You put it on, it's gonna clump. By the time at the end of the day, your mascara is everywhere. You don't have time for that. I know you don't. So by using a mascara that has a primer, I'm just gonna put that on. You don't have to stress out. If your baby's crying next to you, all you do is you go ahead and apply the mascara and already it's going to be separated. It's going to be the longest mascara that you can actually use for your lashes. So I always, you can send me a DM. I'll send you what these products are. So this is a game changer. The next one is using a lipstick or a lip gloss. So I'm just going to apply. Okay. Multi-conversion, right? So we're no longer all obsessed about products that do one thing. You want to use products that have one more than one function. So I'm going ahead, I'm putting this lip. And I'm gonna just smile. And guys, this is a trick that we call in the makeup industry, monochromatic. So when you are looking to run out of the house, it became a really popular thing. In order to have a very natural flush, just by putting a little bit of the same lipstick onto your cheeks and even onto your eyes, it creates a monochromatic look. So you look more put together, more weight, because they're noticed, because when you look in the mirror, someone's looking at you, they're seeing the monochromatic makeup from your lips, on your cheeks, and on your eyes. The last trick that I have for you, because I can go on for hours about all this stuff, I love it so much, is a trick with eyebrows. So this is one of my favorite products. It's the It Brow uh, Power, let me show it to you guys, eyebrow pencil. Brows are not sisters, they're cousins, they're not identical. You can even see me where I basically have a little bit of a different brow. But by adding a little bit of brow color, it's going to basically close the look. It's going to heighten the certain areas. It's going to make your eyes appear bigger. And by just going in and adding a little bit more of a height, it does bring the look together and it makes you look like you did 
sleep more. And so I'm going to just show you real quick how to fill in your brow without doing that Instagram brow that we all see online because that's not who we all are. We don't have that time to get it perfect. What you want to do is you always want to be combing up to get your natural shape. And where you want to go is here, okay? You want to go here at the top because what that's going to do, it's going to lift the eye, okay? And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go where the end of your eye is to the, to the corner and you just want to pencil that area in. What this is doing, it's again, always pulling up this whole area. That's what makes us look tired, guys, is if this area isn't kind of filled in, it's, it's just kind of falling down a little bit. So what we do is with makeup and with skincare, we enhance this area. So I'm going in and elongating my brow just a bit. You see, I'm not changing my whole look. And then what I'm gonna do for the next step is just a tad bit here on top to give it more of a shape and a tad bit on the bottom. And with the back, you're combing up that product so it's not in one place. You're just combing up so it looks blended. And guys, that really is for me, the only makeup that I will do, one that I only have time for, but still enough for me to feel beautiful and make a difference that I want. Makeup should not cover and transform you into someone that you're not. You just want it to make you look awake. You wanna look naturally beautiful like yourself. And again, if you're using products, which you guys saw, I didn't use 50 products to do a makeup routine. I use maybe three. You wanna make sure these products are going to be doing good in the world and that they're gonna be connecting with your body because your body is at the end taken in all these ingredients and you wanna make sure that you are looking at all the ingredients and where it ends up. So I can't even believe I did that in a half an hour because I could talk for hours, but feel free to DM me. I'm gonna be on here all day and I would love to support anyone on their beauty journey. If there's one other thing I could say is, it all starts with just knowing what it is that you wanna look like, not what she looks like and how do I look like that. It's more of looking at yourself and saying, what are my best features? You know, my lips are my best features, so I wanna adorn those. And the power of a lipstick is so powerful. Just putting an incredible color on will wait, make you feel awake, make you feel beautiful instantly. So try it on. I know it's been really difficult, but put on that red lipstick, put on a pink lipstick and have fun with yourself. Beauty makeup is really just meant to adorn ourselves and have fun. So uh, thank you guys for having me. And I love it. I could talk makeup all day. So Dana, how do you feel? Do, do you think your mom would be proud? My mom would be so proud. I'm so proud. I'm so inspired by you. I, you know, I was reading the comments. We were all completely enraptured by you and just the experience of ritualizing something that we often just zip over, moisturizer, but taking the time to create that energy and that warmth in our hands and massage our face and really absorb the goodness and, absor and nourish ourselves in that yeah. way. Everyone was like, oh, I feel better already. I feel like I'm nourishing myself just by watching you run through those rituals. Um, and, and I just wanna thank you for, you did both. You gave us rituals to feel our inner beauty and you gave us awesome makeup tips to actually enhance our external beauty. Um, all while like not really caring what anyone else thinks because it's really all about what we think and how we feel about ourselves. So I'm really inspired. I'm really, really inspired by you. So just um, let me make sure, I know you answered a lot of the questions as you were sharing some of the brands you were working with. Let me see if there's anything else. One question came in. I don't think you answered it. What if you're allergic to mascara? Yeah. Is there a tint or a clear or what could, what could she do? Yeah. I mean, that's really, that's really a great question. So there's two things that I'm going to suggest. Number one, there are mascaras on the market right now. So for example, this body shop mascara is actually vegan. So I don't know if maybe that could work if you are allergic to normal mascara, because you guys, you would be very surprised on what's in our products um, and the regulations that are in the beauty industry. So if you see what I do with my work, I really have pivoted to working with brands that really are just super clean, that, are, that really care about the world, care about us. They care about what we're putting in our body as women. And so try the body shop. They have a vegan mascara. But if not, a lash curler does miracles. A really good lash curler sometimes is all that you actually need. You just need that little bit of a bend to open up your eyes a little bit. Um, oh my goodness, that, reminds, that, that takes me to another story, but a lash curler or a vegan mascara, I think might be able to work with you. And the body shop has a really good one. 
Yes. Awesome. I, I, I am a big fan of just like, if I don't have time to do anything, what you did exactly with the concealer here, although I don't bring it all the way up and I'm going to start. Game changer. It, that game, game I was changer. like, oh, I've been missing that my whole life yeah. here, here, just bring light where it needs to be a little bit of that monochromatic trick. I do that all the time with a lip and cheek tint here, yeah. here, 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 yeah. a little curl on the lashes. My daughter's like, what is that tool? What are you doing? Exactly. And just, I just want to say one more because it's like it's, makeup is so simple. Like it's so simple when you understand it, just like accounting and finances. Once you get it, you're like, oh, this is so easy. Right. So the other one little quick tri uh, tip that I want to just show you is a lot of us as moms, we feel like our eyes are drooping as we're getting more mature. Right. That's one of the biggest insecurities that all women have. So what I like to do is, I, so again, I'm using the body shop, but I like to go in and just use a taupe color. It can be any brown. It literally can be any brown, just something that's a little bit darker than your natural skin tone or your lip color. And you wanna, instead of closing your eye and doing what they tell you and all these videos, you wanna look straight at the camera or at the mirror and you wanna just put the taupe, not into your crease, but on top of your crease, guys. Mm -hmm. This is gonna give an illusion that your crease is up here instead of down here and it's gonna open up your eyes. I'm gonna use my finger and just blend. Blend, 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 always blend, blend. blend. And that's it. And I just wanted to share that trick because that's another game changer that I feel like no one tells us. Thank so you. I appreciate that because as I am, pun like as I punch in a little bit of taupe or whatever, I'm like, oh, I should lift that up a little okay. and then lift. give that elevation. So thank you. Yeah, with all the sleep that we lose and as we age, everything starts to come down. But we've got our tricks now. Lift, Stephanie, lift. you are amazing. I know everyone is so inspired by you. We're going to pop in all your handles and all your websites here. Cannot thank you enough. Everybody follow Stephanie, get your tips and tricks and all this incredible ritual inspiration. I feel more beautiful on the inside. So thank you. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you.